friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about subtraction. So our learning goal says, I can use manipulatives to model subtraction with decomposing 100 as 10 tens and 110 as 10 ones. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board, place value chart, and place value discs. If you don't have a place value chart or place value discs, you can draw those on your board as we are going through our lesson. Let's take a look at our first problem. So here we have 122 minus 80. So friends, how can we use place value discs and our place value chart to help us subtract? What do you think? Yeah, we can use our place value chart to model our numbers and we can actually do some decomposing um, of hundreds and tens on our place value chart. So it helps us model what we're doing to subtract in our problem. What number do I, do I model first? Am I gonna model 122 or 80? Yeah, we're gonna model 122. When we're subtracting, we always model the larger number. All right, so let's model 122 on our place value chart. We have 100, two tens, and two ones. Now let's take a look at our ones place. We have two ones, and if I look at what I'm subtracting, 80, well, zero's in the ones place. So I can take away zero ones from two, so I don't need to do any decomposing there. Let's look at our tens. Ooh, in our tens, I have two tens, Oh man, but I have to subtract eight tens, so I definitely need to do some decomposing there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my hundreds place and I'm gonna decompose or unbundle this hundred into 10 tens, right? Because 10 tens equal 100. So now I'm able to subtract eight tens from here. So now we're ready to subtract. So we started with doing all of our decomposing that we needed to, so we can subtract. So now in the ones place, I have two ones and I need to take away zero ones. So that's just two. Then if I come to my tens place, I'm going to subtract eight tens, right? Because there's eight tens and 80. Okay, then I'm left with four tens and there's no hundreds to subtract. So 122 minus 80 equals 42. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, friends, so for this, you guys are going to try and pause the video and solve this problem. Do all your decomposing first. So you're going to take a look at model 174. Then you are going to look in the ones place. Ask yourself, do I need to decompose? If you do, decompose 110 into 10 ones. Then move to your tens place and see if you have to decompose. If you do, do that. If not, then you're ready to subtract. So go ahead and try and solve this problem and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, what number do I model first? Yeah, 174, right? Because that's the largest number. So here's my place value chart, 100, seven tens, and four ones. Again, I start in the ones place and I look, do I need to do any compo decomposing? So I'm subtracting six. Oh, I don't have enough ones. So I'm gonna take this 10. I'm gonna say bye-bye. I'm gonna decompose or unbundle him into 10 ones. Now I go to my tens place. I have six tens and I need to subtract five. Oh, I don't have to do any unbundling there. All right, so now we're ready to subtract. So go to my ones place here. I know I'm gonna subtract six ones, so bye-bye. Okay, then I'm left with eight ones. Now I move to my tens place and I'm subtracting five ones or five tens. So there they go. Now I'm left with one ten. Then I move to my hundreds place and 100 minus zero hundreds because there's no hundreds in 56. I'm left with 100. So 174 minus 56 equals 118. Right, hopefully you guys got that one. But we're gonna do another one to practice too. All right, so here's your next one. 136 minus 57. 
you guys are going to model this on your place value chart, do any decomposing or unbundling that you need to do, and then solve. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. Again, we need to start with what number, number do I model first? Yeah, it's 136, always the largest number when we're subtracting. So 100, 3 tenths, and 6 ones. Now I look at my ones to see if I need to do any um, unbundling or decomposing. Well, in 57, there's seven ones that I'm subtracting and I only have six. So that means I need to go to the tens place and unbundle or decompose that 10 into 10 ones. Now I have enough ones to subtract. Then we'll move to the tens place. I have two tens. Oh man, but 57 has five tens in it. So I need to do some more unbundling. Let's go to the hundreds place. I'm gonna take that hundred and unbundle it into 10 tens because 10 tens equals 100. Okay, so now I have plenty of tens to be able to subtract. So let's go back to our ones place because we're ready to subtract. Okay, so I'm going to subtract seven ones and I'm left with nine ones. Okay, then we come over to our tens place. I'm going to subtract five tens because there's five tens and 57 and I'm left with seven tens. There's no hundreds to subtract anymore because I already used that hundred to decompose and make 10 tens. So now 136 minus 57 equals 79. Okay, so friends, you guys did an awesome job using those models to decompose hundreds and tens to subtract. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.